welcome back to So Me Sunshine. Um, I'm Mitzi and I'm gonna be taking you through my favorites of this month. Um, I've got some spring themed kind of uh, patterns and fabrics and it's getting a little bit warmer here. It's very cold today, but it is starting to get a bit warmer. So I'm thinking of all the nice layering pieces, dresses, jumpsuits that I want to be wearing for spring. So first up, I've got this really lovely Robert Kaufman Ventana twill. Um, in this khaki colour. Um, I think this is just such a great colour for this kind of in-between time and I have been thinking about making this for a while. I really like this pattern. I've seen so many nice versions. It is the Blanca jumpsuit or they call it a flight suit um, in from closet core patterns, sorry. Um, I'm sort of thinking wide leg view but I haven't quite decided. There's so many nice um, options with it. You can do a straight leg, you can even do a little um, button close at the hem of your trouser leg. Um, Jenny was saying that she's done a shorts version which you'd slightly have to hack it but that would be really nice as well as we move into slightly warmer months. Um, I just think that's a really nice versatile colour um, and yeah I've had my eye on that for a while so that's first up. Uh, so my next favourite pick is this beautiful Atelier brunette uh, fabric which um, we've just got back in stock. So it sold out really quickly last time um, and it's in this beautiful mustard colourway with kind of dusky pink uh, detail and cream. Um, so I think that this would make a really lovely dress. I think you can make a lot of dresses out of this because it's got a nice weight and it's not see-through um, and it's very floaty. But I've picked the named Rita shirt dress. Um, I think it would look beautiful in this fabric. It does come in another two different colourways as well. Um, so if you not keen on this one, you could go for the slightly darker navy or the greenier one. Um, I have, did make a uh, robe jacket for my sister for Christmas out of one of these fabrics and it sewed up really nicely. Um, and it cut out really nicely for like a drapey viscose anyway. So as it's not super warm yet, I've decided to pair it with this really nice viscose mix knit. Um, it's, it's really soft and it's slightly, uh, brushed or fleecy, like it's got a slight texture to it which makes it feel really cosy. Um, and I think it would make a really nice Marlowe. And I know this is another of our favourite patterns in the studio. Um, but it's just the perfect kind of layering piece for this time of year. Um, and this has got a nice weight to it so I think it would make a nice cosy warm Marlowe. Um, so my next favourite is another new fabric and it's this Meat Milk V de Voile Tencel fabric. Um, it's a beautiful colour. This is the punch colour. Um, we do have another five shades, I think. Um, but this is a lovely rosy pink, which I just think is so pretty. Um, this, I think you could make, again, a lot of things. It was really great for tops and dresses. I think for dresses, maybe you might need to line it a little bit. But if you're making quite a summery, lightweight dress, you should be fine, depending depending on your preference. Um, I've picked the Calvin dress by True Bias, either thinking the top or the dress version. Um, it would look really lovely, it's really drapey, I think it would um, sort of gather around the waist really nicely because you've got a tie. Um, and yeah, that's quite a summery pick, but I feel like you could layer it again with the cardigan that I showed earlier and stuff like that, and I think it would be really lovely. Uh, so my next pick is something that I have been wanting to make for a while and it is a swimsuit. So I've got the um, Megan Nielsen Cottle Slow here. Um, I think, again, it's a really nice versatile pattern because you can do a two-piece or a swimsuit. I really like the swimsuit with a bow. Um, I haven't made swimsuit before, so I think that Megan Nielsen, I've always had a good experience with their patterns with really good instructions. Um, and we've got loads of great swim wear fabrics in as well as the lining. I've picked out two and I might be starting off with a bit too much, a bit too ambitious, but I'd love to make a kind of panelled swimsuit. So we've got this printed one um, and this block colour. And I think the colours go really nicely, like I think that sort of picks out the blue in that one. Um, and you could do either, I mean, you could do the two piece, you could do the top in one, the bottoms in another, or I think you could kind of mix and match, maybe do a stripe down the side. Um, I think you could do a lot of versatile things. Um, and they're just really lovely swimsuit fabrics. 
Uh, so next up, I've got um, actually another fabric in this really pretty pink colour. So if you weren't sure about the uh, tensile um, voile fabric, this is some of our beautiful enzyme washed linen, which is again another favourite here in the studio. Um, I would love to make this Estella um, paper cut by paper cut patterns. Estella dress, I mean it's a dress, it's a top and it's a skirt, so it's another pattern that you can really mix and match with. Um, you, I'm thinking maybe to make the dress, but I also think if you make the top and the skirt you can wear them together or wear them apart. It's just really versatile and as you might have gathered I really love a kind of versatile pattern that you can do a lot with. Um, and this is just, I think would be the perfect weight. It's not see-through, it's got a lovely drape, um, it will gather really nicely and yeah, I just can't wait to make something out of this beautiful colour. Okay, so my next pick is actually two picks, two fabrics, uh, top and trousers. Uh, first up, I'll talk about the trousers. This is the new named patterns, Ina, trousers and culottes they actually call it. So there's a straight leg, slightly tapered and wide leg. Um, they look super comfy, they've got an elasticated back. I feel like I don't need to say more than that. I love a comfy pair of trousers and I love an elasticated waist. Um, I would like to make it in this Italia Brunette um, cotton twill. It's super soft, again, um, beautiful colour. And like a lot of the, or well, all of the Italia Brunette fabrics, they have corresponding um, other fabrics in the same colourway. Um, so to go with those trousers, I was thinking that this gingham cotton gauze, uh, reversible cotton gauze, would be perfect. So it's the exact colour match and they look just beautiful together. Um, for the gingham cotton gauze, I've had my heart set on making a um, quite a simple shaped top with a really beautiful gathered sleeve with smocking at the cuff. Um, there is a designer that makes them, um, and maybe Jenny can put a photo on. Um, there's other people I've seen on Instagram doing it, and they all look just so beautiful. Um, as a starting point, um, Jenny suggested using this paper cut pattern, which is the array top and dress. Um, it's a really beautiful shape. It's a quite a simple shape. It's got the nice drop shoulder, really gathered sleeve. There might be a bit of hacking involved, but I think because it's got that nice, really gathered cuff, it'd be a really good starting point. Um, and this uh, has got two different sizes. So you could go with like the bigger of the gingham or the smaller. I think I'd go with the bigger, make it a bit easier. Um, but yeah, I just think it's a lovely, soft, um, kind of top weight cotton. And I just think that that would be a really lovely spring project. Um, so my next picks are another two fabrics to go together, this time they're both jerseys. Um, I The new uh, True Bias pattern called Zoe has really caught my eye and I think we've got some really beautiful ribbed uh, jerseys that would be perfect for it. Um, I'm thinking maybe starting with the top, I haven't worked with jersey that much before so I think that would be a really good kind of beginner's project. Um, and this is really beautiful to work with and it's really lovely to wear because it's kind of silky, super stretchy. I think it would have the perfect recovery for that kind of pattern. Um, and I've picked this beautiful blue colour because I just think that's really springy and fresh. Um, so to go with that really lovely light blue jersey, um, I've picked out this meat milk, uh, it's called the Coda Interlock jersey. Um, and it's a, a heavier weight jersey. Um, I think this would be really nice to sew because it's a bit firmer and a bit more stable. Um, and this is in the colour Pekin, which I just think they look so nice together. Um, and I would love to make a kind of a pair of almost kind of smarter tracksuit bottoms. Maybe wouldn't even call them tracksuit bottoms. Um, but I think the Tula pattern would be great for this. So you've got three different views on this. You can make a wide leg. Um, you can make more of a classic tracksuit bottom with a cuff, or you can make shorts. I would probably go for the kind of straight leg without the cuff, so it has a bit more of a trouser look to it. And I think this, it's, um, it almost looks like a trouser fabric, like, like a knot jersey, so I think that would be perfect for it. Um, and yeah, I just, I would love to wear that together, it would be super comfy, um, and still look really nice and springy. 
Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you liked seeing some of my favourites, lots of new favourites in there, lots of old favourites as well. Um, I'd love to see what you guys are thinking and making or let us know in the comments below like what are your favourite fabrics for spring, what are you thinking about making. Um, we love all the inspiration here in the studio. Um, so Harriet will be back next week um, but until then, happy sewing guys! Thank you.